Demon and the Giant Scorpion. Demon Beast. Resistant to all elements. And a Scorpion, which is resistant to fire and Look, weak to water. water. Well, worry about your luck there, buddy. Um, let's see what we got here. Yep, yep. Yeah, 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 do that job. Wow, is this. Is there more game hit points? We're gonna have more than that much bad amount. Oh, you're just bad amount. Okay, okay. there's nowhere to kill that. Alright, so now what do we got? Uh, yeah, what do we got that. Oh, uh, we'll get that back uh, started, because anything's gonna kill from right? Yeah, but. So let's. Focus on that guy. So and it's 54 or 60 to 60. Oh, it's okay. Alright. His Sarah's just beating it up. Alright, so now we can go back up to the big the big ones. They're all the same. It's just resistant to everything. There we go. Yay! Yay! Hooray! Yay! Game music is super loud. Thank you. Uh, how is it now? How is that? <clears throat> Alright. Thanks, Rich. Uh, oh, you're up. Oh, what are demons doing here? These accidents didn't stop happening after I left. Figure! You call this an accident? Screams for help kept them from conversing. They rushed to aid some mage children. Alright. Also resistant to fire. And both, both critically uh, vulnerable to water. Though. Right. Good thing that we, uh... Oh, you you have fucked up. You you have made a poor choice. You... Now you have fucked up. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. We, we made a good... Yeah, we made a good choice, definitely, in, uh... Um... Getting Draco some, some water skills. Uh, yeah. Yep, that's gonna close that deal. Yep, that's the end of that. Yep, there we go. Yay! Uh, oh, thank you. Thank Draco. Hello. The teacher gathered the children silently and ushered them away with a sideways look. No one seems happy that you're here. I don't care. I'm happy I got to leave. More screams. Where are the demons coming from? It's almost as though that asshole that hates you is summoning them to frame you for some sort of... Uh, things so that they can then turn against you more than they already have. Oh, typically they come from the giant pentagram in the sky. Oh, I was wondering about that. <laughs> A team I... of black-robed wizards rush through the hall with great purpose. Who are they? They're the people who get cold when stuff like this happens. That happens. A lot. Really? Wizards. <clears throat> Magic can be really dangerous if done wrong. Well, they had us doing 10th tier magic while we were still wetting our beds. I don't know if that's high or low. Yeah, like, is that, like, is it a, a hundred tier system? I, I don't... I didn't really stay in magic school. Um, that's the problem. Also, I'm, I'm reflecting on the, the, uh, the, the taboo against black magic. How is this fucking different than black magic? What makes this not oh, 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 black oh, magic? Oh, 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 I, I can answer this one. Um, our demons... We have hats. I did. I did notice the beret. Yeah, hats. Yeah. If no hats, out of control, uh, demons everywhere, slaughter. It's terrible. But hats. You just like hats. Yeah. No. Very. Very jaunty chapeaus. Um. Master Warface said these accidents were motiv motivations to study hard and do stuff perfectly all the time. It's not enough that the kid who messed up might get killed. They have to expel him too. Is that what happened to you? You made a mistake like this? 
Do demons like knock knock jokes? 100% yes. That doesn't matter. They were looking for a reason to kick me out anyway. Only kept me that long because. Uh. Seeing this type of chaos and uh, dairy here in the same place, this is not unfamiliar to me in the least. That's Draco. Um. Uh, I. Wait, I don't go here anymore. I don't have to listen to you. My pendant was in that box, by the way. Do you take it? Master Howl con contorted his face in anger. Uh, like, no. M Master! A group of teenage mages were fighting off demons and losing. Teenage mages has a really good ring to it. There's a one shot in there somewhere. A horrible beast led the demons with frightening cunning. Used the power of telekinesis to separate the wizards from their stabs. The mages were left defenses, defenseless without their training stabs. Uh, like, I've totally got him! The wizard dwarf, the wizard dwarf charged, forwards, charged forwards and unleashed a mighty slew of spells, but the telekinetic demon was still standing. Master Howl's staff was also flung away. This demon design is really interesting, I gotta say. There's a lot going on. Yeah, it's, uh... Like, and, and we don't know what happens below about the waist, except that it has an extra pair of, like, of unnecessary legs. legs. Right? Like, like, I mean, those seem like the necessary legs. Like, well, these, no, like, they don't... These are the unnecessary legs. Well, no, but those legs are clearly, like, vestigial. They're too small to hold its weight. Mm -hmm. The children whimpered in fear. The professors formed a human shield around them. Oh, wait, no. Oh, it's got big, weird lizard legs. Oh, oh, I thought that was a tail. It also has a tail. It also has a tail, yeah. Oh, come and get me. Draco ran forward and distracted the demons. They took the bait, so Saren haphazardly did the same, even though he was unsure if they could handle so many demons by themselves. The telekinetic demon was confused with Draco for a moment, which allowed them their first advantage. All right, boss time. What do we got? Resistant to everything. All right, cool. I, I think it's just the same demon we bought before. Uh, yep. He's not a boss. He's just all right. We just. Well, it's boss music though, right? Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Eighty-one sounds great. What about just staffing him? Uh, fifty-four. And what? How many? It's also how much? Uh, it speeds him up. Delay oh, how, eight, uh, and the spells are. Delay 12. So yeah, it might be worth stabbing him instead. Yeah. We're literally just gonna click our way through this battle. Yep. Alright, Sarah needs to heal. Yep. I'm insane. Yeah, who does that? I, I rarely have the ear on Nah, he's got 113 left, so he needs more than that. Okay. Yeah. Just say I don't like you. Yep. Yay! Hooray! The battle was fierce, but all demons were slain. The students started whispering to each other about Draco and how amazing he was. Draco, the Justin Bieber of this wizard school. He saved us. Master Hal huffed and rolled his eyes, but Draco allowed himself a moment to feel appreciated for once. You're welcome, you're welcome. Well, he made fire from his hands. How, how does he do that? He's a wizard. Uh, like, that man is one of the few blessed with superior magic talent. He doesn't need a staff or a scepter to bend magic like totally to his will. Oh, like us. Yeah. Children's jaws dropped in unison. I had no idea. Is that true? Well, if they say so. They'll always be this way. Looks like we should be like showing you our gratitude instead of our... Oh, scorn. Yes. Don't get cocky, kid. That was all the Master Wizard said before leaving to take care of the mess that had been made. 
Perhaps we should leave? Without my lucky charm. Now is not the best time. All right. They go drag to speed as they made their way to the exit. Just before they reached it, something shiny dropped from the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's. And they stared at it for a moment, and Draco rushed to pick it up. No we. Don't tell me that. Draco put it around his neck with a wide grin. It is. I don't believe it. But how? Luck! No, really. They both looked up and saw nothing but a hanging banner. Oh. That's right. What? It got thrown up there by some friends. Friends, huh? And I forgot to go get it. So Master Howell didn't steal it. Uh, Draco looked flushed and looked away. For fuck's sake. I'm ready to go now. Saren managed to convince Draco to apologize to his old professor. Howell's in utter disbelief, but eventually managed to show better gratitude for Draco's help that day. You can tell how incredibly difficult that was for both of them. We've received a lucky charm. Hooray, let's go to camp and put it on. All right. Uh, right. User interface. That's Ray. Draco. Lucky charm. Yeah, yeah, we're putting that on. Yeah. And necklace of speed. Um. Wizards. Wizards need necklaces. Yes. Fast I mean, wizards are good wizards. Yes. Alright. Uh, why don't we talk to everybody and then take a break? Because I, I don't, I, cause I don't sure. think anybody's going to have a lot to say. Cause we yeah, we haven't done anything. Yeah, so. we haven't effectively done anything. Yeah. But I'm, I'm curious about, for example, whether we're going to get Mirth's personal quest. Mm -hmm. um, Alright, so let's start... On it's just the right good. Side. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so Sazer's not going to tell us anything. Oh, here we go. Oh, you escaped my not again. I'm not sorry. Stop doing this. I shouldn't be tied up in the first place. What should we do with you? Misfit thought about it for a moment. I want a tent, like everybody else. I get some privacy. Could I tie you up in that tent? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm not sure that could be arranged without be it being under guard. It would likely be Ray. No, no guard. Especially not him. But you would run away. But... You have run away. No. Okay. Okay. W would I? Yes, although I don't know why I think that, because you can clearly leave at any time you feel like it. The Dark Elf gave Saren a sidelong look. Perhaps I found a reason to stay. Oh. Oh. The way he didn't break his gaze from should, Saren. Should we, like, should pause? Like, Start playing that song by Hoobastank. <laughs> the, the reason. What? Oh, I find, the reason is you. I finally found a reason to stay. I can't, no. I can't pull it up. Uh, mine's Tracy Chapman. Give me one reason to stay here. Looking for one reason to stay here. Right? The yeah, world, no, the, the Hoobastank not, one is much more in the... The in world the, did not the, deserve Tracy Chapman. <laughs> yeah. That's, and, uh, we'll see. Okay. All right. Uh, Kambara? Yeah, sure. You again. Look, Seven. Shouldn't you be worried that I'll think you're too pushy if you keep trying to talk to me like this? You're coming on too strong. Whoa, 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 lady. Double standards much. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, that is uh, mispunctuation. Don't you think that the others will think less of you for trying to get close to me? I am the evil dark witch after all. 
Don't pretend you don't care. Because I know you take the sun and the stars of Lorraine. Because I am not very observant. I'm thinking about glasses, actually. Uh, bifocal. And a druid. Okay, that one. That one is obvious. And the barbarian. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> and the idiot mage. <laughs> And the dark elf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine, game. You <laughs> we get it. Really, is there anyone in this camp you want sweet on? Sarah flushed and looked away. <laughs> when you make it sound like that, I don't care what anyone thinks about you and me. Demonstrably not true, but go on. I've already decided what kind of person you are. I'll take any punishment for knowing you. Wow. Umbara watched Saren closely. You're sure about that? Yes. Turns into Scorpion. <laughs> Get over here! Saren is not a man-ho. Uh -huh. Saren has lots of relationships. She also... A rather like deeply institute like like a deeply messed up understanding of like interpersonal relationships due to huge inter like uh, institutional oppression. In she that he is literally a combat and sex slave. Mm. She had no snide remark or threat to make. Kambara only laughed. Alright, Ray. Hey, hey Ray. That's yep, right. thank thank goodness That's Ray had nothing away. to say. Earth. Earth. Earth cleared her throat when Saren passed. He stopped to look at her. Murph. Ah! I was wondering something. That's extremely embarrassing. I'm not sure how to ask. You can ask me anything. Is ah. it about the rash, though? Ah, well. I've seen you very close to Amokiki and Draco. Saren crossed his arms and thought about his time with the others. Now close, he'd come to Mirth as well. Please don't make us pick game. Don't be that. Don't be boring like that. What did you want to know about them? Ah, oh, if you truly cared about them, I do. And that same way, oh, as 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 you care about me. That's a curious set of choices. That's an odd dichotomy. Right? Uh, yeah. I don't... I'm reminded, so, so in Fallout 4, you can romance Preston if you're a dude. You can romance Preston if you're a lady, too, but it's harder if you're a dude. And at the very end, when you get that final romance option, Preston, Preston Garvey is like, oh, I, I didn't think that this would be a thing. I mean, your wife died and everything. And there's an option... That is, I, that, that is, I still love my wife. And I picked it, thinking that it was going to be like, yeah, no, I still love my wife, but we are also going to do this thing. And that was not what it was. It was like, I still love my life, my wife, and we shouldn't do this ever. And I was like, no, it's mm. not what I wanted. Yeah, that's not what you meant. Yeah. So here, I wonder if this is one of those choices, right? Like, well, we know who we're going to choose at the end. Do and we, it's we're ride or die with Draco? Pretty much. Yeah, no, that's fair. Like, if you that's have to fair. choose between Mirth and Draco... I didn't know that we talked about it, but, but yeah. I, but, but so, like, like, like I think I think we, like, discussed the various relationships we have with these people, and Draco's the only one where we are, like, peers. That's true. Like, Mirth is a... Like, plant? Mirth is, like, like a plant and a goddess mm -hmm. and a queen of her people. Mm -hmm. um, like, we, we don't... Like, we have a connection, but it is not... Like, like, like it, it is like a connection of like learning about each other's cultures. Yeah. More than it is about like being equals and partners. Yeah. Um, Emukiki, like, yeah, one day, like, maybe there'll be like some weird, angry, oiled up sex thing mm -hmm. happening, but mm -hmm. like, we're gonna, we're we, gonna, we are not the, the we greatest not, of hate fucks. Yeah. We are not friends. No. Um, Kambara, though, I mean, Maybe we go off and become some kind but of like Kambara, like kick-ass shirtless warlock. But Kambara has no respect for us. That's true. That's true. Like, I mean, much like Loren. 
Like, yeah, like... No, you're right. We're ride or die with Draco. Like, like Kambara could teach us some really, like, some important things. Mm-hmm. But I don't think if, if we only have one romance to have, it's Draco. Yeah, no, that's that's legit. So we're going to say, yes, gender doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, but hopefully the game doesn't make us, like, pick a romance to resolve in the end. It will. But maybe I'm wrong. Because we're at five hearts with a bunch of people. Yeah. I'm capable of caring for someone, even if they are a man like me. Sure. That's a way to phrase that. I wish I had a heart as deep as yours. Mine's so fragile. That's meek like me. <laughs> I've only got straight enough strength for one love. Mirth cringed and looked away. Disturbing Saren. Disturbing is not the word I would have chosen. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm happy for you. I want you to get close to others. Please find your happiness. That doesn't lie with me. That's interesting. So, so maybe like Mirth is monogamous, right? Yeah, yeah. Mirth can't cope with it. She, she's like, mm-hmm. she's That's fine. That's cool. That's interesting. She's like, yeah, Mirth. Oh. She broke away. Oh. Oh. Sad. Well, maybe we'll find a way to bring it back up. Yeah. Uh, Karen. All right. Uh, we start from the other side. Dora. Oh, hi, Gan. Oh, yeah, that's, that's it. it. Paula Michaud. Perhaps I have not impressed upon you the urgency of our matters. No more idle chatter. Thanks. Uh, Draco. Draco. Nothing's new with me. Yeah, all right. Uh, Amukiki. Oh, here we go. Amukiki was still recovering from his duel with Cruel. He was outmatched, but only through trickery. Right, because last time we beat Cruel, the, the like, ogre barbarian. Yeah. And the succubus. Mm-hmm. To impress upon the human generals, Ashtray and the other guy, the seriousness of this thing mm-hmm. so the humans would commit forces. Yeah. No, so the human the humans had already pledged to commit forces. It was so they would acknowledge us as the leader. Mm, right. Yeah, we had to go show off. Yeah. Uh, he was outmatched, but only through trickery. The gladiator did not act as if the battle was still bothering him, but Saren could see that it was. You did a you did a good job. I did not win. You're alive, and honorless. Cruel was not yours to kill. Oh yeah, and we helped, and now yeah. I'm sorry we intervened, but we had to. The orcs were swarming you. I told you, one of us was going to die that morning. I asked you to let me fight him. You said you would. Yeah, yes, I... You asked us to let you fight him, not the hundred other orcs that were trying to kill you. God. Amukiki's eyes twitched from glaring at Saren too hard. He figured he should leave the gladiator alone. No. All right, Ramus. Yeah, this is throwaway line and last bit. Basically least. Last, yeah. And, all right, okay. All right, so, all right. yeah, why don't we take a ten-minute break, five-minute break, whatever. And then we will continue the plot. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? What is even happening next? Kill the demons. I don't fucking know. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll be back in, like, five, ten minutes. So, the plot. Right. Which we totally remember. I think it's go to Everburn. Sure. No. No. Why don't we go back to Citadel? Why would we do that? I don't know. Ha! 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 I bet you didn't remember these things. I didn't. I guessed. All right. Loren and Queen Karen marched through the Citadel's gates, prepared to announce that they had completed the two tasks. However, Brezza interrupted their arrival with two additional tasks. Majesties, do not tread further. That's a strange way of phrasing that. Razor looked over her shoulder. Amazons laid on furs outside in the plaza, coughing and groaning as healers tended to them. Oh dear. What happened here? It, it's a plague, your highness. I, I beg of you, do, do not enter the citadel, or you'll fall ill as well. How did this happen? The Amazons have always been stronger than common sickness. That's not, that's not how viruses work. 
Saren closed his eyes, recalling his previous mi mistress. She had fallen sick so quickly, and the healers were unprepared that she had succumbed to it. If I may say, while I was working in... Oh, sorry, I'm... Bleh. If I may say, while I was working in the clinic, there was little treatment for maladies, and I have seen Amazon struggle with their illnesses without ever consulting a healer. What the fuck did you do at the clinic, then? Broken arms. Right, right. The, the, they're like combat based society illness is is weakness. shameful and weak weak uh but amputations uh Are they're common. really good at yeah yeah i really want to have a D, D character like that like someone who's a doctor but not a cleric just but, a doctor. but not a cleric and and, and their, their answer is you ever seen a cleric pull a tooth <laughs> you're just like oh yeah no that would Amazons do not have maladies. <laughs> they do, but you are too stubborn to admit it. What if I told you that slaves don't necessarily need heads? Uh, I also have some Ren empirical <laughs> evidence that would contradict that. Ren hushed and clenched <laughs> her teeth. But to this scale? Magic must be to blame. Ah! <laughs> that was my thought as well. Uh, just before the plague started, our, my scouts reported some suspicious women to me. No one knew who they were or even recognized them. That said, there was a party. We sort of got it on with them. And, all right, honestly, what we've all got are herpes. Um, it spread really quickly. It's not that bad, but the initial, like, the onset's a little rough. Uh, suspicious women uh, is my Little Women uh, Thelma and Louise mashup. All right, all right. That's that's. It's gonna be a weird weird show. Mm -hmm. Foreign Amazons. Uh, I I do not know, but they cannot be found again. They've completely disappeared, and now we are plague ridden. Uh, those were not Amazons. They they had to be illusions. Illusions. What the. F is a foreign Amazon? I don't know. <laughs> what, is, what does that even mean? It's the justification you use when you want to get it on with a lady from another land. <laughs> uh, Majesty. Like the illusions that started the war? But sexier? The illusions that started the war would be a really good album name. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. It would be like a compilation album. Yes, we can ask Murph and Apollo Michaud to be sure. So, the same dark forces are now targeting the Citadel. Such filth. Uh, there are no other queendoms, though. We've but, established like, that this, the Citadel is the only one. Yeah, th this is, up until this point, this is the land of the Amazons that was, like... The Amazons are defined as being from here. I just noticed that Braze's top is strapless. That has to be, like, awkward. Yeah, it's also, like, definitely, like, boiled leather. Because mm -hmm. that is not going to hold itself up. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, shall I consult with your magic experts with all I know? Yes. Speak to the druid and the archwizard. Brizza saluted and left. Loren watched the sick Amazons from a distance. She wasn't used to seeing her sisters so weak. She couldn't even enter her own home, which actually has been pretty common given that she got banished at the beginning of the game. She clenched her fists, swearing vengeance against the virus. Yeah, no. Just... I will kill every one of... That's not how it works. Where are they? They're in their bloodstream. They're not even technically alive. Oh, in the bloodstream! I know how to access the bloodstream. Oh, can you shut the door? Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Keep my whole house away. After deliberation, Apollo Michaud and Mirth approached Loren. We have learned what we could from your scout commander. Indeed, illusion magic may be at play to infiltrate the citadel. 
But what's more, that sickness itself runs deeper than any healing magic. That's not waging war on their bodies, but on their very souls. What? What does that even mean? This plague is the work of dark magic. That's outside the realm of our knowledge. If only we had an expert in the field. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Lucky for you, I am here. That's interesting to me because Kambar is a DLC character. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we're Neat. playing DLC content. Maybe? Could be. Lorenz spun to see Kambara making her way into the conversation. Because she's also in the regular game, right? Oh, yeah, but she's not... She's a, she's a she's party character in the DLC. No one thought to ask me about dark magic? Anybody? Oh, we were a booter! Oh, yes. I am sure. I will ask. Kambara, can you help my people? All right. I am pretty good at making potions that cure, you know, this kind of stuff. But my potion book is back at my house. In the swamps? Then that's our next des destination. Really. It is simple. Only your entire race needed to contract an evil disease to get you to take me back home. Why did I not write that sooner? <laughs> Writes down evil disease. Mer sighed and Apollonio grumbled under his breath. New quest. Cure the plague. Find a way to cure the plague. Unforgiving the swamps. Oh, Kambara's house. We can just go. Snap. Enter the swamps and Kambara's house exactly the way they had left it. Home sweet swampy home. Oh, wait. This, that wasn't the first time we'd seen that art. Yeah, no. We just hadn't seen it in a while. <laughs> she has recreated a chamber from her schooling inside her house. It's true. She entered inside the decrepit hovel, and the rest followed her inside in an awkward sentence. The interior was just as well kept. Now, where is the silly potion book? Omar swiftly crossed the room and scanned her bookshelf. She pulled out a manuscript bound in black leather, as with all her other manuscripts, and heaved it to a nearby table. She opened it and flipped through several pages. What kind of plague is it? Locusts? Midnight transformations? It is an illness. My warriors have lost their strength completely. Probably didn't have much to start with. Boring. The regular plague then. Here. Found something that may help. A potion. Only needs us to visit like five places. A, a potion? You've used this lions already. No, it's really potion this time. Or would you take the, would you rather take chances in not believing me? Ren thought about it for a moment and shook her head. She had no <clears throat> choice but to trust Kambara. Okay, here's the recipe. I will brew it because you're all incompetent, but it is the extent of my graciousness to get all the ingredients. I am not breaking my back for this. I'll be right here. Let's say guarding potion, yes? No, you'll come with us too. <sighs> These aren't that simple. She scanned the page and looked. You need to decipher recipe first. Decipher? It's written in a different language? Try to keep up. No, it's written like riddle. Standard dark magic double tongue to deceive you! Yes, would show you double tongue if you were 50 years younger and I had no standards. <laughs> it's written like this so uptight losers like you couldn't understand it so you wouldn't persecute those who wrote it. What? What does it say? Read it to us. I was thinking about the, the, the fact that that's actually like a, a real thing. Um, there's, a, there's a famous uh, mystic manuscript, the Ars, um, the Ars Notoria, which was burned in the, I want to say like 11th and 12th centuries, like by the, by the church universally. Right. But wound <clears throat> up with more copies in the end because people kept confusing it and copying it. Because um, you, 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 you'd copy Latin without understanding it. You, mm. like, in, in like monasteries and whatnot, often you would just copy, um, you know, based on sight. And it was confused often with a book called the Ars Notaria, which is about stenography. 
That's amazing. Yep. True story. Okay, says here requires three essences master, servant, and friend. You, Seren, get your dick out. <laughs> Master, servant, and friend? Yeah. First ingredient. Take from the master trapped in the underrealm. Release him. Second ingredient. Take from the servant. Wandering champion. Flesh stain with the plains, etc. Alright, misfit, you too. Third ingredient. Take from friend. Loyal to the end. Waiting for master's return. And the door. That's it. Alright. It's rule 34 the ship. But what are we supposed to get exactly? It says Essence. Well, if you fucking figure it out, kid. Let me see that book. I will reveal its secrets. Yeah, sure you will. Kamara relinquished the book with a dismissive toss. Uh, uh, all right, sure. Let yeah, let's see if we get anything more useful out of it. Take from the master trapped in the underrealm. Release him. Uh, okay. Sure. I'm a Kiki. Get you the Underrealm. Engage the Underrealm. <laughs> if this is dark magic, then the master would have to be a death knight. And we stop right here because we will under no circumstances release a death knight. I do not understand metaphor. It's not literal, you know. Probably just have to find this tomb. Do I have to spell all the... Listen, can say very slow. Can use hand signs. What, 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 wait, a real death knight? Those evil people that everyone keeps saying destroyed the world? And we killed one of them? I don't want to go anywhere near one of them. Dora, we did not bring you for the DLC. It is, on, I, it is okay. You were a camp. You don't know. Oh, death knights are a thing of the past, or at least they used to be. And a knight we'd encounter to be long dead, except for Foster Logger and that one that we encountered who were both death knights. Uh, yeah, yeah. Zeal. He disappeared. True, so he will be of no use to us. We must find another. Holy shit, it acknowledge the DLC and what we did in it. Oh. Zeal was the Death Knight that we, okay. killed, that we killed in the DLC, but if we had, like, released him and cut a deal with him, or um, killed him, it it would acknowledge it. But it acknowledges that we did that quest. Oh, yeah? There's a little catch in there that catches uh... that that thing and, and puts some dialogue. Good job, game. Fast? He is not trapped in the Underrealm! Nevertheless, we shouldn't approach him too soon. Our battle is still ahead of us. So far ahead of us. Apparently forever away. We need a knight. We, who we truly need are knights long dead. They're what we call leeches. I, I believe it's pronounced leechy. Mmm. Oh, I love, yeah, I love a good leechy. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's get the candies at the, the, the fall place. I want Oh, that was a mistake. Oops. Bones cobbled together from the old body, relying purely on magic. At their worst, they should be dead. We killed one of those, too. Mm hmm. At least one. Those don't sound fun either. We don't really have a choice. Loren was wary about releasing any master from the Under Realm, but her people needed a cure. We just go do that. Do we do we know? Uh, let's take a look at each one, right? All let's right. Go yeah. through these conversations. That way we don't have to come back here. Right. Okay. So we have to kill the lich. Take from the servant, wandering champion, flesh stained with the plains. Flesh stained with the plains. What color are the plains? It's a metaphor. Brian. No, dummy. The green. Green flesh. I think we know what creature this is referring to and where it will be. Wandering the plains. Let's go. And friend. Take from the friend. Loyal to the end, waiting for the master's return. 
Well, shit, that could be anything. Not necessarily. It says that wherever it is, it's still waiting at the end. The end? Does that mean ever burn? Only demons live there. No, there are other creatures that call it home. Golems, Drakes, Firehounds. Trouble chimed in at a reference to his kind. Draco leaned down and scratched behind his many ears. What's that? I want to go see your family. We will do no such thing. Oh, why not? If we're going that way, I shouldn't be too hard just to stop by. I don't think it will be a problem, Majesty. <laughs> we should investigate all non-demon allies of Faust. Lorraine grumbled. Alright, so... Planes. Lich. Tomb. 